All right, so this is another XY technique using the Blum line configuration, but this time, instead of having it in front of the kit, we actually have it directly above the kit in parallel to the center line that we've drawn between the snare and the kick. So the idea here is we're going to get a very balanced and natural image of the kick. Unlike the front of kit, where you're going to get a slightly roomier snare and kick, you're going to get the same balance of room and tone directly into each microphone. So the other thing that's really cool about this kit is that because it is directly over the center line and you get the transient energy straight up from the kick and the snare, you end up actually getting a pretty solid mono center even when you end up having a slightly wider image. So there's definitely some advantages to doing this. Of course, the disadvantages is that it becomes harder to place some of the other mics around this particular setup. And that's something that you need to consider depending on how complex the kit setup is. All right, Matt, take it away. All right. So just to demonstrate the point of selecting your pickup patterns in a thoughtful way, what I've done here is switched the microphones into Omni. So what that's going to do is it's going to change the directionality of the pickup. Instead of getting the very direct uh, sound from in front of the mic and the very direct sound from the back, we're actually going to get an even amount of sound from all around the microphone. What we're gonna hear now that I've done this is that the actual width of the image playing back in the speakers is going to contract. It's gonna become a little bit more central. And we're also going to hear a little bit more room tone show up. All right, Matt. Here is the Blum line in parallel, meaning instead of having it right uh, in front of the kit, we have it over the kit and pointed down. I happen to be a big fan of this pickup technique. I find that it always gives me something where the center just feels really solid. It, things don't dance around in sort of a crazy way. I've got that really anchored sound, but it also gives me a very wide sound at the same time. So I feel like I get a little bit more benefit down the road. I've got that wider image if I want it. I can always tuck it in if I need it a little narrower. It's just something that I find always works in a predictable way. All right, now here we switched it into Omni. So remember, we had the uh, the mics parallel above the kit. They were in XY. I switched them into Omni. I'm going to go back and forth between the two, and you'll hear that difference. Figure eight. Omni. And you hear that that image gets really narrow and the tone gets a lot darker because the Omni pickup is a darker pickup. So, you know, pretty dramatically different. And this is why I make a point of keep bringing up the polar patterns. It makes such a difference at the end of the day. Now, what I do like about this is, again, it's all dependent on what you're trying to do. If we want something where we have almost a mono capture with just a little stereo spread and a lot of weight to the low end, a lot of weight to the sound, and get some room in there, like maybe we're doing like a cool vibey indie rock kind of a thing, this is actually a pretty cool pickup with, with that XY set into Omni. Like, I do dig it. It's just not going to be what we usually go to. We would have to find a pretty good reason to do it.